I knew that music was going to play a very important part in the production. I, I, I love um, in theatre being able to tell parts of the story without text and that's where music comes in to its own. production um, the sort of cinematic and filmic feel and the sort of dark gothic element often in in theatre music gets sidelined and and often musicians are in a back room somewhere playing or even the music is recorded and, and I just think we're missing a trick there. I think audiences love seeing um, who is creating the music uh, and it's not a distraction, it, it, they just become part of the, perfor the performance and audiences love seeing how the music is created. So, so for me that was intrinsic really and, and it was always going to be that the band were centre stage. The fact that it's just right in the middle um, there you go no no hiding anything which i find great to watch to see players in 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 theater actually playing music um i hate it when they're hidden away we knew when we went into rehearsals that we were going to probably use sort of a, an eclectic mix of music this odd diversity of misery and joy insane and young again and all because I'm mad about the ball. The majority of the music is is original apart from three tracks there yeah, some of them are wild cards. There was something so pleasant about that play. I had an idea of putting crazy in there and because I'd, I'd, I'd played with a, um, a really great soul singer called Alice Russell who did an acoustic version of crazy which with a big orchestra and it was fantastic and I thought what about taking that and doing it even quieter um, and because of the craziness of Bertha I thought it would add um, a different level to it and also bring it into into a modern times, really. Does it make me the music is like another character within the show. Does 